What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Red Beard Outdoors podcast. I'm Jonathan, your host. And here at Red Beard Outdoors, I talk about faith, family, fitness, and the outdoors. Guys, it is archery season. I'm super stoked about that. It just opened up this last Saturday here in Utah. If you have an elk tag, if you've got a deer tag, if you have an antelope tag, you've been hunting a little bit before this as well. Uh, I wish all of you success. I really do. I'm super stoked to be out there. And even more so, my son, my 17-year-old, is out with me. He was able to go out for the first time during opening day with a tag in his pocket, see some deer, get out there and enjoy glassing and doing what we do on opening day, carrying a bow and doing a lot of bow hiking. So with that being said, uh, good luck to all of you out there. I wish you success. I hope you have an amazing season. Hope everything goes to the part of success for you, whatever that may be. If that's, if this is your first year and just getting in close uh, on deer, getting, you know, exposed to uh, some stalks and things like that. Awesome. I wish you the mo- the best. If you have a big, maybe limited entry tag or a big bull unit tag, whatever it may be, good luck out there on that as well. I want to hear all of your stories. Drop the comments down below if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're listening uh, on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, shoot me a message on Instagram or an email over at redbeardoutdoors1 at gmail.com. I want to hear your stories. I want to know more about you, how maybe you trained, if you're coming out east to come out west, whatever it is, guys, I want to hear about it. I'm stoked to hear your stories. Today being Tuesday, we've got a quick one for you guys, just going over the releases that I really like. I've been running different releases throughout the years or using different releases throughout the years. I started with an index release. Uh, I've since moved to a thumb release. I've messed with hinges. I've messed with resistance releases and everything in between, guys. And again, I still feel super green. I've been in archery for about five years or so, and I've mixed and bounced around to a lot of different ones that I've tried and have really liked. Uh, There's a lot of great companies out there, guys. And if you have questions about it, again, shoot me a message. Um, This isn't the only company that I use, but it's the one that I've chosen because I really like the way it feels in my hands. I like the way the mechanisms work and how crisp it is. So here's the company that I choose. I use Stan Releases. So we're going to go over your Stan releases. These are the Onyx releases. I know there was the Perfects before that. I didn't get to use any of the Perfects releases, um, but I'm going to go over the Onyx series and some of the other ones as well. If you're into index releases, I'm going to go over the one that I generally send people towards. Uh, If you're just getting into archery and you want to use an an index release, we're going to start there. It's actually, for my from my personal opinion, it is the best bang for your buck when it comes to getting into an archery release. You can get all of these releases over at Wild Arrow if you're local here to Utah. Um, You can also find them online. I imagine if you are not local here to Utah, go to your local archery store and ask them about these releases. Uh, We want to support the local archery shops, the pro shops. We want to keep them in business so that they can continue to grow the archery industry. So here we go. We're going to start here, guys. This is the hard version. There's also a uh, a cloth, or not a cloth, but like a nylon strap, or I don't know the exact material. I have the other one. It's in my daughter's bow case, um, and I apologize if you see this fly flying around. I tried to get them earlier. You might see me get to use that bug zapper uh, here live. But uh, anyway, here we go. So this is the... Solex. I want to say yes, this is the Solex. So they have this hard version here that I personally prefer. You can fold it up out of the way, etc. You know, if you're hiking through the woods, you got this strapped, you can fold it up out of the way. I just like the way that that solid rod there feels. I believe this is aluminum, but I'm not exactly sure what the material is here. You can shorten and lengthen it with that Allen screw right there. I don't know if you can see that or not on the camera, but there's a way to shorten and lengthen the head uh, if you need it longer. And I think that's probably as short as it'll go, to be honest with you, is the way it comes in the package. But let's get started here. If you're new to archery, uh, this is what I usually recommend people so that you don't send a release through your bow or anything like that. This will go strapped to your arm like that, the wrist strap release. And then this will either fold out of the way or if you have the the cloth material, I don't know, nylon or whatever the other strap is, uh, that's another great option as well. 
I have the nylon one for my daughter because she has obviously a, a shorter draw length, smaller hands. So we got the shorter one for her because you're able to cinch that cloth strap down a lot more than you are this solid rod. But if you're an adult male or adult female, this will probably be short enough for you. And again, you can go longer. So you strap this onto your wrist here. And then this is your trigger. Just like on a gun, you've got a trigger release. So you hook this on. It's an open hook, which I like personally uh, on a wrist strap release. I like the open hook because you've got this on your hand. You have a bow. Let me get my bow here. You have your bow. You got your D loop. If you're hiking in, you see something, you're able to strap it on and you're good to go. You're able to pop it off just as easily as well. So I like the open hook on this a lot. And it's honestly one of the, I wouldn't say cheap, it's one of the more budget friendly options. And it's made by a company that's been around for 50 plus years in Stan. So crisp, super crisp. Um, and you know, you're able to hook it on there like an open loop and then pull the trigger, pops off, click the trigger again. Let me see if I can do this. Okay. Click it again. You hear that click. I don't know if you heard that or not. That is how you reset it. Okay. So super simple. Wrist strap releases are very simple. Again, I personally like these for beginners. And then some people just never get away from wrist strap releases, which is great because with a wrist strap release, uh, it's always on your body. You're never worried about setting it down somewhere. And it's super simple. It's not a lot to it. You're not going to send it through your riser. If maybe you get back to the back wall and bounce off of it as a new archer or you get tired, uh, you're not going to send it through the riser. So I really like these. Just simplicity of use. Great for hunting purposes. There's so many different ways to operate this trigger and to use this release. I highly recommend uh, you check it out. I'm not going to go into the, the technicalities over here. But again, new archers or someone may be looking for a very nice crisp index release. There you go. The Stan Solex. Next one from there. This is kind of a hybrid. And I actually really like this as well. If you're a new archer and you are set on, you want to do a thumb release. This is the Axis. And the Axis is a thumb release right here with a wrist strap. I don't know of any other companies out there that have done one like this. So this is an Axis. So the Axis is what I would say would be the next step up as far as budget wise goes from the Solex to the Axis. You're not worried about setting it down. It's going to be strapped to your body right there with the wrist strap. You're not going to send it through your riser. And you've got that crispness of a thumb release with the open hook, which again, if it's strapped to your body, I like the idea of an open hook because you're not going to leave it attached to your bow. And the way, if anyone is new to archery or releases, the way a thumb release works is, let me see if I can get this up, this wrist strap out of the way. You wrap your thumb around there. The hook is in. You can see the hook is in the D loop. I'm not going to pull it back because I'm not going to dry fire my bow. But you can, you basically operate the thumb and that releases the hook. Just like that. So this is a three finger option with, I like that little pinky rest right there. I don't put a lot of pressure on my pinky, but it's nice to have somewhere to put my pinky. And there you go. Great bang for your buck as well. If you want to get into thumb releases, but you're concerned about sending it through your riser, through your bow, setting it down and losing it, this is a freaking amazing option. So this is the Stan Axis. Very crisp. I was very impressed with how crisp this is. On this one, you can even adjust. Let's see if I can show you guys that. There you go. That silver right there by my thumb, that silver screw, you can adjust the, I want to say the travel on the trigger. So if you want that trigger to travel more or less on this thumb release, you can set it up the way that you want it. So that is the Stan Axis. Next, now we're going to go into just the straight thumb releases here. So this is a resistance release. So this is the Stan Onyx R. So the R stands for resistance. And what you do with this is that trigger actually does not activate this hook. Now what you'll notice on this is that it is a closed loop hook there. So what you can do with this release is actually set it on 
Let's see if it'll stop focusing on my face for a second. Set it on your D-loop and leave it. So if you're sitting in a tree stand, you're sitting in a blind, maybe you're stalking in an animal, uh, you can put it on your D-loop and leave it. It's not going to come off, okay, because of that little bottom hook there, right there to close the loop. So this is the resistance release. And what the resistance release does is you pull, you actually pull that, operate that trigger right there. I'm putting tension there. And then you pull back and it will not fire until you let that thumb portion go. And then I don't know what the tension is on this that I have. But basically, once you hit the tension that you have set on this release, that hook will open and your bow will go off. So there are multiple different spots to adjust. There, right there, that silver key is how you adjust the tension. How much tension, how little tension, I highly recommend you get some kind of, um, some kind of, I'm trying to remember, scale, so you can see how much tension it takes to pull back, because you don't want to pull this back in the moment you let go of that thumb for it to go. You want to have a little bit of tension, so you have to pull through, once you release that thumb, you have to pull through your back wall for that release to go off. So that is the Stan Onyx R, okay? resistance. My personal go-to thumb release is this one right here. The Stan Onyx C. The C stands for clicker. So what you'll hear, and I'm going to hold it up to the mic here, is this first click tells you, okay. And for me in my head, I say, here I go. The way if you've listened to Joel Turner, etc., they're actually the ones that helped create this Stan clicker because there's a lot of hinge releases that have clicks, but there's never been a thumb release that had a click in it before. So this is the first thumb release. So you get the, to that click right here. And then the next one is when it goes off right there. And then you'll see the hook is open. It's not engaged. So let's do that again. I push this button here to engage that hook. I can hook it on here. Another great thing about this release is that you can leave it hanging on your D-loop. It's not going to go off until you put pressure on this thumb. Right there, there's the click, and then the release. So there you go, the Stan Onyx C. You can adjust, there's adjustments here and here. Right there, that silver screw right there, and then the silver screw right there. That's how you adjust the travel and where the click is in relation to when the bow or when the release actually goes off. I love that. Now, if you don't like the click, they have a standard thumb. So it is the Onyx T that is your thumb release. So it looks just like this. Same color options. You got the green, you have the gray, and then you have brass if you want the heavier one and the shiny brass one. You have those three colorways. I like this green sage with the black, but you can get the traditional thumb release without the click. So they have in this platform here, you can go from the clicker to the thumb to the resistance. And they also have a hinge in this platform as well in the Onyx platform. So really, if you want to have a good training tool and you don't necessarily want to use the clicker, you can get the thumb and then in the off season, maybe shoot the resistance release or the hinge and then go back to the thumb for hunting however you want to do it um, but they provide all of those options there at stan which i think again is is fantastic you have the option to be in the same setup multiple different types of releases so you can practice in different ways and uh, keep it a surprise release last but not least here guys i'm going to talk to you about my new favorite hinge this is a newer one from stan called the Lynx. So it's got a closed loop here for your index finger, and it's got your hook here for your hinge, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's very simple, very simple hinge. You can set it to where you has a click, which mine does have a click. You can change the moons out to where it doesn't have a click. You can make it hot. You can make it very cold to where it takes a while to go off and everything in between. So I've got it set at about medium. But with a hinge, basically, I use this thumb right here to help me pull back. Once I'm back to my anchor point, and that clicks on me. 
So once I'm back to my anchor point, then I let go of my thumb and start the hinge motion. You'll hear this click right there. So that tells me, just like the clicker on the thumb button, here I go, and then you hinge some more, and it goes off. So we'll do that one more time for you guys out there, maybe if you're new to hinges. I like this as a training tool, I really do. Um, I personally don't hunt with a hinge, I know people that do, but I like a thumb button for, for hunting. But this is a great training tool. So again, get back to your back wall, to your anchor point, you hear that click, and then I say here I go, and then I hinge some more, and it goes off. That is the Stan Lynx. Let me get you a better picture of that right there. Okay. And like I mentioned before, you have the brass option in the Onyx or the Lynx. The brass option is heavier. It is shinier. Um, I actually like the weight that this brass option has. Um, I have the moons set up the exact way, which you can adjust the moons up under here. Let's see if I can get it to focus on something other than my fingers right there. You can adjust that moon to where there's a click or no click, uh, hot, cold, in between. And again, this brass one is the same. Just get back to my wall, click right there, and then pull through. There you go. So those are all the releases that I really like from Stan. Again, go support your local archery shop. If you're here local, I highly recommend you go to Wild Arrow. They have all of these as an option that you can go in, bring your bow or borrow a demo bow and shoot them right there in the short range. So you're not worried about sending an arrow through the roof with a hinge or anything like that. Uh, sending your release through your bow. Go try them out. I highly recommend them. Again, me personally, I shoot the Stan C. If I wasn't shooting the C, I'd be shooting the thumb release. I really like the head on here. It's not that far from my knuckle. So it's not that long of a neck, which means I can have a little bit longer draw length to get back to that same anchor point that I hold with my thumb releases. So kind of going into a little bit more of the theory behind it. For me personally, I've really liked thumb releases because I feel like I have a little bit more connection with the bow for me personally. Again, this is all subjective. I don't ever have a problem with setting my release down and losing it. I keep it in my pocket and I keep a backup release in my backpack at all times, no matter what. I have had my thumb release fall out of my bino harness one time. That hurts because these thumb releases are a little bit more pricey than say an index release. So again, if you're getting, if you're just getting into archery, I highly recommend one of these two, either the Axis or the Solex would be my go-to for people that are maybe new in archery. If you want to dabble in the thumb release, this is a great crisp thumb release with that wrist strap option. Uh, if you're getting into thumb releases and you want to you just shoot a straight thumb release, then again, the thumb or the clicker are my favorite from Stan with this resistance as a great training tool. And then the links as a great training tool as well for the hinge style option. I'll also be shooting this. Between this and the clicker, I haven't decided yet which one I'm gonna use for my target bow. So um, all of those to be said, if you have any questions about any of these releases, maybe something I didn't hit on, maybe questions about sizing or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, let me know what release you're shooting, maybe one that you're interested in. Um, I'm more than happy to discuss all of those different options with you guys. Just let me know what you got, what you're thinking. Subscribe to the channel if you really like this video. I'm going to leave a link down below to Stan's Instagram page as well, so you can go check out what they've got going on and what events they're going to. Uh, if you have any other questions for me, guys, let me know. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. And of course, get out, live your life, and love it.